Olympic athlete, you won a, uh, a gold medal. You won it, although you were a debut event, like that, I don't want to say that makes you older, but like, how does that make you feel now? Older and wiser. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I of course always loved the Olympics growing up. It's such a insane event. Um, I more so watched the summer Olympics. So I didn't really dream of being an Olympian when I was like 17. I was pretty good at half pipe and I gave Vancouver 2010 a go and it didn't really work out. And that's when I remember kind of letting go of that Olympic hope. I was like, you know what? It's just not meant to be like, I love to ride park and I just like freestyle. That's all I want to do. Like, so be it. And I remember just kind of going down my path, doing what I wanted to do. And then boom, like a year later, they announced that slope style will be added to the Olympics. So having the privilege to go to Sochi and compete in the inaugural slope style event, I felt really thankful and happy that I was in a good place. Like I was definitely the favored to win, although nothing is guaranteed. Right. But yeah, that was quite the experience. I feel really grateful. Yeah, I mean, that's something that, uh, you know, not a lot of people have done. Uh, and for you, you're the first in that. So uh, you did the ESPN body issue. And since you're doing something with Olay, it kind of made me wonder, the picture of yourself in the snow, was that real snow? Or was that like set snow that you were laying in? It was fake snow. Because <laughs> I was thinking if that was real snow, you were that would have been a cold shoot. <laughs> yeah, that would have that would have been tough. Although I'm a fan of cold water therapy, I think it's good, but it is really hard for you. You're talking about going into the ice cold yeah. ice cold bath? Yeah. You do that? Yeah. Yeah, I do it more so hot, cold, like therapeutic. I'm not so keen with like going in an ice cold lake, but if there's a sauna or a hot tub right next to it, 100% I'm down. Okay, because I do a lot of hockey coverage and I know some of the guys, the older guys tend to do that that cold bath, I guess it's better on the joints and such. It's supposed to be really good. Just breaks up lactic acid and really helps your blood like move everything through. So what, obviously you love sports. What do you do now other than snowboarding? Are you in Whistler still? That's what it says on your, yeah. So that's a great place, obviously. Um, I'm in Whistler. Thankfully the resort just opened last week. So we've okay. been able to get on the mountain and kind of start training. Um, I've also been enjoying kind of other things this off season, like getting to do more art. I love to like crochet beanies and kind of do like arts and crafts stuff. Okay. Um, I love to write. I've been journaling for really like since I was probably five. You um, working on a book? Is that the eventual goal there? I would love to. I think it might just have to be like crazy stories told by Jamie Anderson or something. Because Crazy stories are good. I mean, I, I've written nine books. I know I don't have a ton of crazy stories, but if you have a few in each one, it helps. <laughs> I think it's key. I like flashback to some of my journals from like even being a young snowboarder and like kind of melts my heart. Like some of the fears I had around like finances and sponsorships and like... Yeah you know, it's a really, it's a luxury sport and it takes a lot to get into it. So you really have to like, you know, be grateful and not take anything for granted. Did your parents, were your parents? Okay. It's okay. I have two dogs, two cats. Okay. Mm -hmm. She just wants to come say hi. But yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good. I have a great Pyrenees lane in the middle of the living room here. Um, your parents, were they okay with you snowboarding? Cause you know, my mother would have been like, you're going to break bones. Like, why are you doing this? My parents were really easygoing. I mean, I'm the fifth of eight, so I think they probably oh, okay. had quite a bit of experience before then, but my mom was really like trusting. Somehow she was never really scared. She wasn't like the type of mom that's gonna be like, where's your lunch shirt? She was right. like, get out of here, go have fun. Like, call me if you guys need anything. And she was just really good at like holding it down and being honestly a fearless, brave mom. She was really our like rock in the family. Now you're used to being outside and you said you're finally getting to be able to break out because Canada has been pretty strict during, during COVID, but was this the first time you had to be an indoor person? This was the first time I was home for this long since I was a teenager. Like the last 15 years I've been on the road 
minimum like six months out of the year. Mm. And I mean, thankfully in Canada, we were able to like get outside and still do some activities. But yeah, yeah. it's the first time I was really on like lockdown. And you know, it was definitely a bit of adjusting. But I think I think we're capable of anything. It was kind of nice, kind of enjoyed the slower pace of mm -hmm. life. Did you kind of have thoughts of coming back to the States, but then you would worry about getting back to, I guess, Whistler if you did that? Totally. In the summer, I really wanted to go see my family, but because I'm not a permanent resident, I was a little bit afraid about traveling back into Canada. Yeah. So I just, I just hung out all summer, all spring and summer. And then came fall, we did get to do one snowboard training trip in Switzerland. And then on the way home, I got to go see my mom and oh, that's dad good. and all my siblings, which was a blessing. Yeah. So you got that. And so you're from California, right? Yeah. I grew up just outside of Lake Tahoe in Myers. And what's your best memory of California? Is it like being outside? Is it like, what's your best memory? I think my best memory is going to the beaches in the summer. I really love Lake Tahoe. It's like one of the most magical lakes and we'd go to this fun beach and we'd always like go catch frogs and whatever we could find. And I always had so much fun with all my siblings. Now I have to ask you, I've, I've been to Vancouver multiple times. I have friends who live out there. They seem to not realize that it rains every day. Do you realize that it does rain every day or do you pretend that it doesn't? It was really, really hard to adjust <laughs> to the Pacific Northwest, especially yeah. coming from Cali where we got rain hardly ever. Um, the first year was really tough because yeah, it just felt like it was cold and dark every day and it right. was a kind of bad summer. But now that I've been here close to five years and I still spend a lot of time in Tahoe and here, right. but I love it. I just love, I love nature so much and I love clean air that I am happy to deal with the rain and weather to have a really healthy rainforest and you know, everything is a bit more lively up here and kind of flourishing. And I know that's because of the rain. So I'm really grateful for it. And what are you trying to um, accomplish here with Olay? With Olay, I've just been feeling really grateful to be a part of their program. They're helping spread the love of being fearless. And they've partnered up with some other amazing women that are also dealing with harsh winter conditions, whether it's in Chicago delivering mail mm -hmm. or um, some other amazing women. And I've been thankful to just learn more about their products and the background. I've really been loving the Olay body line. Um, Olay is backed with over 60 years of science and research. So I really know and trust they're putting really great ingredients into their skin line, like vitamin B3 complex, hyaluronic acid, collagen, things like that, that I know mm -hmm. are really nourishing to my skin. So it's been awesome to use those. These are the products I've been loving, the cleansing mm -hmm. and nourishing body wash and the rinse off body conditioner with shea butter. And together it's like an amazing duo. So I'm really thankful for Olay Body. All right, well, thanks. And thanks for uh, taking the time today. Of course, thanks for us. Stay warm. <laughs> I will. <laughs>